the soil school that we are planning to start over here at our farm, it will benefit all the regions. People need to be educated about the, the health of the soil. And for that, in the soil school, they'll be taught different ways to keep the soil healthy and make it a well-balanced soil. Today, the situation has very become very critical in the, this region of Punjab and it's all over India. Lot of disease has crept in the people and in the, especially in the farming, lot of chemicals, use of chemicals, hybrid seeds, BT seeds, GM seeds has come to use and the GM seeds and the hybrid seeds require a lot of chemicals for the growth. The soil has become poisonous, the water is going very, very fast. And when the soil becomes imbalanced, the food that people become the imbalance, and so the disease has crept in people. And it's uh, very alarming, the cancer rate is uh, growing very fast, liver disease, heart attacks, they have become a common feature over here. My name is Mr. Vinod Jenny. I'm really passionate about my, this type of natural farming because before 2005, I was doing all chemical farming. In the process of the last 13 years, I've created a lot of biodiversity in my crops, in the trees, and lots of birds have migrated over here. The role of the birds, the bees, the trees, crop diversity, intercropping, mixed cropping, crop rotation, all play a very important role. L'agroforesterie, pour moi, dans des pays comme ici, en Inde, est vraiment très très importante. Je pense que c'est l'agriculture la, du futur. Mais ici, vous avez des sols qui sont sensibles et à l'érosion et à la compaction. Et le fait d'utiliser les arbres pour maintenir les sols grâce aux racines, grâce à ce que va apporter les sols, c'est l'agriculture du futur. Your roots go very, very deep. In your soil, you have a lot of elements. Potassium, uh, magnesium. So you are, you are not obliged to do that and to dry the soil. You know, so it's more comfortable. Okay, so they can easily grow in <laughs> yes, that watermelon kind easily. of crop in there. Alors là, on est intéressant parce qu'il freine la vitesse du vent. Donc il va permettre une meilleure photosynthèse, donc un meilleur rendement. Et il a aussi l'intérêt d'attirer la pluie, donc de régulariser la pluviométrie, ce qui est toujours bénéfique pour les cultures. L'agroforesterie est une solution dans la mesure où elle permet à l'agriculteur de ne pas produire uniquement des, des céréales ou, de, ou des légumes, mais de produire aussi des arbres fruitiers et du bois, ce qui est toujours intéressant. L'agriculteur a toujours intérêt à ne pas mettre tous ses œufs dans le même panier. Mais c'est vraiment la clé, et ça c'est pas qu'en Inde, c'est certainement la clé dans le monde entier, c'est de remettre des arbres dans l'agriculture. Depuis le début du projet, avec le soutien des équipes du TFT Inde, ce sont plus de 130 000 arbres qui ont été plantés. L'arbre a un rôle pour la biodiversité, il permet d'abriter les oiseaux qui vont être utiles aussi dans l'agriculture, il enrichit les sols et il a aussi un rôle économique important pour les fermiers de la région parce qu'il permet de générer un capital et qui pourra être revendu plus tard lorsque l'arbre arrivera à maturité. Donc l'arbre a à la fois un rôle économique et environnemental. This line and this way also. So 20 kg this way, 20 kg this way. What a, we are thinking at a farm of launching a soil school. Because in India, there are not, there are not a lot of scientists who have worked a lot on the soil. In foreign, we are very lucky to have Mr. Claude Bonicue, author of Regenerating the Soil. In India, we are lacking on soil scientists who have deeply studied the soil. 
ये जो एक सौ दस रूपए किलो गुड़ खाते है कौन है खाने वाला ये इसमें कोई केमिकल कंपनी नहीं ले रही बीज वाली कंपनी नहीं ले रही ये जो आमदनी जो मेरी है समझे ना बाजार से कुछ नहीं लेके आ रहा मैं एंड फॉर देट वी लाइक टू स्मॉल स्टार्ट स्मॉल सॉइल स्कूल ओवर ईयर सो देट फार्मर्स कैन लर्न हाउ टू मेक द सॉइल हेल्थी Soil uh, speaks or Mitti Bole is an initiative wherein we'll work with these 2,000 farmers, and our aim is to scale up it to the other states and to more number of farmers. Wherein we'll educate them, we'll tell them that this is this is the, the approach that you are having the, for the agriculture right now is not good. And what what are the scientific recommendation? What is uh, crop uh, rotation? How they can reduce the uses of chemicals and fertilizers and pesticides? how they can adopt the organic and the natural farming we aim to involve uh, the research institute the soil experts and the like minded organizations so that we can give uh, farmers a holistic approach to address this apna ye je to tehal mate is pe kut ka to now with mitti bole we want to get closer to the farmer to the family to the community so i easily foresee that in the next 5 to 10 years there will be a behavior change and uh, if you look at this uh, community right now only 1% or 2% of the farmer are into natural or the organic farming but going forward in next to 5 5 to 10 years we feel at least it can influence 30 to 40% of the farmers here